can talk about your drawing. Yes, yeah, show yourself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So welcome out. So before we start, I, how are you doing? Before we start, uh, I brought my drones because I feel like a lot of people still don't really understand drones and what they're all about, capabilities. So my first question is, anybody have any questions, concerns, uh, you know, puzzles about drones? Well, I was just going to say, I was thinking uh, as I was driving uh, down to the meeting that a friend of mine is a, um, has had a part of his career, has been film writing and, um, and film making. And he uh, told me about a, um, a film he did years ago for the Department of Defense and they wanted to do some topographical views of a um, of a village in Maine uh, for some reason. And the but in order to do that, they had to hire a helicopter. So in and I was thinking of all the scenes that I've seen in movies, you know, movies that were made like 20 years ago. And now this really is the this really is the answer. Do you no longer do you need to hire a helicopter? Well, some people still do, and there's occasions that you right. really do need a helicopter because we have restrictions. So there's certain areas that we are not allowed to fly our drone. Uh, but you are right, there are a lot more drones being used for everyday things that we used to hire a plane or a helicopter. As a matter of fact, Nancy uh, is a, a pilot, and I used to hire her to fly around North Reading. I think we did one in uh, Everett. We did a the football, yeah. <laughs> and so when I got that, I felt bad that I didn't you know, have to, to use her anymore. Sometimes it's weather conditions, too, because you can't take a drone up on a windy day, but you can take an aircraft up on Correct. a day Correct. that you can't use a drone. Oh, rain and you know, anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. How high can you fly them? Legally, 400 <laughs> feet, but not everywhere. I'll give you an example. We have Lawrence Airport. I'll use Lawrence Airport. In the five, from the middle of the airport, it's a five-mile circle from the middle of the airport, all around it. And inside that circle, the FAA designated areas where we can fly and not fly. Zero grid means you can't fly, but if you get a special waiver, in some cases you can fly, but only by FAA permission. But we have areas we can fly 400 feet, 350, you know, all to you know, zero. But we are limited to where we can fly in certain areas. We can't fly in national parks. It's prohibited, okay? In certain parks, even in Massachusetts, uh, that, uh, for example, Salisbury State, not illegal, but it's illegal by their rules. They don't own the airspace. If I take off, say, from the street, I can fly over, you know, the beach area, but I can't take off from their property. There's, a, there's even uh, national park lands that we can't take aircraft over. Right. I'll get a $10,000 violation. Oh, no. If I fly over certain areas of Salisbury Beach, there's certain very designated um, wildlife protection areas. Correct. And you are not allowed to fly anywhere close. Mm -hmm. So areas. planes, helicopters, even us, you know, we're regulated by the FAA. Uh, well, we can, but if they say no, then you can't. Yeah, help out the weekend. Yeah. Yes. What about battery shot? Like, uh, ever drop any of those? You run your battery dies and your drone goes for a ride. Down. Uh, well, I mean, it has not happened to me, but yes, it's happened to a lot of people. I have two. I have two. I have two right now in that case that I cannot use because they're bulged out. And um, if you keep on using them, they get so hot that they'll pop right out. So what's the length of time when you use when you uh, them? Well, you? these drones here, for example, mm -hmm. this one here, depending on the wind, okay, is about 10, 15 minutes. Oh. This one here is between 25, 20, 25 minutes, depending on the wind. Hmm. This one here, is 40 minutes okay but again depending on the wind because if you've got the wind going you know against it you know it's going to work harder so it's going to drain the battery faster and this one here is about 30 minutes 
One last question. Have you ever been up with a flock of birds flying around with your drones? I, yeah, I've been. <laughs> I've <laughs> seen uh, hawks in particular. They don't <laughs> like those. Do you get the close-ups? Yeah, I, well, I actually got a couple coming towards me. And once I see that, you know, I'm doing video, so you capture it. Right. But you fly, you know, higher, and they don't follow you up. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, I mean, it's happened a few times. Nice. Are the video files stored in the drone, or do they transmit back to a receiver on the ground? Yes, uh, all the drones have a micro uh, card that goes on the side here. Okay, so all the video, all the pictures are stored in the little card, and you can either connect the drone to the computer, or you can take the card out and use in a card reader it'll pop up, you know, the information that you put on there. Now, is the signal transmitted live to a, a, like a TV? You can, TV? you can do that, yep, yep, yep. Um, as long as you have the equipment, you can do live streaming, even to YouTube and Facebook. So, uh, yeah, the technology has come a long way. So, any other questions? So let me tell you a little bit about what I do, how I started. I actually bought my first drone back in what, 2014, 15? And back then there really wasn't any regulations whatsoever. So it was basically do whatever, do whatever, you know, yeah, do whatever. And then it only took one guy to wake up the FAA and they kind of that we got to do something about this, and all sorts of regulations started to come up. And limitations on height, limitations on flying over people, um, natural parks, you name it, you know. Size of the drone, <laughs> capabilities. Yeah, yeah. Why are you using it? Yeah, so for example, I can, I have, I took my test in, 2016, I believe it was, and thanks to uh, Nancy and of course Pete, they helped me get my license because it's almost like taking a test to become a pilot. You know that she flies. You know, Cessna is it that you fly? Piper. Piper. <laughs> okay. So basically, doing the same test, you got to know GPS coordinates. You got to know radio frequencies and how to find them on charts. Uh, you got to know regulations that the FAA, you know, threw at you. You know, for example, you know the height restrictions where you can fly, can't fly. At the time, you couldn't fly at night with this. You have to get a waiver. Even I don't even think they came up with waivers until years later. Anyway, so you know, weather, reading, cloud formations. I mean, basically, you studied to become a pilot or an airplane pilot. How do you know how high you are? Uh, on all of these, either uh, uh, we put a tablet or a phone here. And whatever the camera's seeing, I'm seeing on the phone or a tablet. And it has all the information I need as to how far it is for me, how high it is, how long I have in the battery life basically just about everything you need to know in order to fly safe okay. is right in front of you. And then obviously the pilot isn't calling back and saying this is no. what it is. Yeah. No, we, we need to be very aware of what our drone is doing, where it is, how high it is, because right now Big Brother added a new feature called Remote ID. So we have certain distances that we need to be from the drone and the controller. This is called the controller. Okay. So say for example, I fly this thing and I'm up two miles. Well, somebody out there knows that I'm a mile apart from this and the drone. And technically, that's not legal because I can't really see the drone. I need to be able to see the drone at all times when it's in the air. Well, actually, if, if the running time is anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes, you want to make sure he's got enough juice to come home. Absolutely. And what's great about this is that if I start running out of juice and I don't realize it, 
it actually says coming home. So there's safety features with this. It's not like a pilot you know, a plane says, oh gee, I'm running out of fuel, I'm gonna land right now. The pilot has to be aware. But I'm also aware of, you know, it before that happens. Okay. You have to submit a plan to somebody where you're gonna Only if it is required by the FAA. For example, if I'm in an area that I need to get FAA authorization, basically in that grid, like this morning, Sensitive for example. Areas. I'm sorry? Sensitive areas. Right. Okay. I'll give you an example. Yesterday I did my homework. I had a job in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So everything was fine. I went up there and I put in, you know, uh, for Lance, like we call, we have an app called Lance, and it to get approval to fly in a restricted zone. And they didn't allow me to do that. So now I, this morning I went back home and I put in for a special waiver which could be 24 hours or 90 days or whatever. We don't know when we're going to get that, if I'm going to get it. If they reject it, they don't tell you why they rejected it. So you're kind of guessing why it is that you got rejected. You know what I mean? So it's near here or there. <clears throat> Any questions? Are there any issues about uh, like private investigators spying on people with these things? Uh, court cases come up that uh, you know snooping around where you shouldn't be. Um, you know, I, a lot of people are concerned about that, and it doesn't really happen. Mm -hmm. The police department has drones, and they can't use it for surveillance. It's not legal. Okay. okay? Um, there's limitations to a lot of these drones also. First of all, if they were in surveillance, more likely you're gonna hear it because that's kind of very loud buzzy noise. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a, a herd of bees, okay? In most cases, the bigger they are, the more noise they're gonna be. Uh, as for flying so low that I'm peeking in your you know, window, that doesn't happen because it's just not what we do. Mm -hmm. I am a Part 107 licensed, you know, by the FAA, okay, and I have this because I needed to make a living doing this. Am I going to jeopardize picking in your window? <laughs> I'm not saying you're doing no, 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 I'm, I'm just, just wondering whether anybody is doing 99.9% <laughs> of us have this to make a living or try to make a living. Mm -hmm. Then you've got the recreational people that do it for fun, okay? I mean, are there bad apples out there? Well, look at the last, uh, what was the football game? Uh, some guy went to Best Buy and bought a drone, decided he's going to be a hot shot, takes off and flies right into the stadium. It's happened how many times this year? Half a dozen or so? Yeah. Those guys were not educated. They didn't know the rules. They didn't follow the rules, but they didn't know the rules. So they ended up getting arrested. And Technically, we don't really know what happens, or whether they got fined or not, because they don't talk about it. But it's not a good thing, okay? So your fears or people's concerns, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I, I don't think that that's a problem at all. At the beginning, everything is new, everybody gets nervous. Uh, you got a call you said about somebody concerned about what I did. Uh, I've actually been approached while on a job, a real estate job, and I'll give you this one example. We called them Karens, and that's when, mostly women, mostly women, I'm sorry, but I just got to say it, they come out of their house, what are you doing? And I'm like, excuse me, I got to, you know, uh, what are you doing? Yeah, drone's flying. I'm not going to just turn around and just let it fly. I got to bring, you know, let me bring my drone down. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> you want an answer? Let me land my drone. She's huffing and puffing. I'm playing here. Yep. Yeah, you stay there. What are you doing? <laughs> so anyway, finally lands. Said, what are you doing? I said, not that I have to tell you, but I'm going to be a nice guy. I'm going to tell you that I am doing a drone video and for photography work for your neighbor that's out in this house. Well, I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> and why would you? Exactly. 
Look, can I see your license? Oh my really? Well, I said, look, I don't have to, but I'm going to be a nice guy. I'm going to give it to you. I don't have to. So pulls it out. She looks at it. I'm going to call the police. I said, please do. Do me a favor, please do. <laughs> so here I am, you know, I'm taking off with it. I'm doing my thing. I'm in the backyard of this house that I'm supposed to be at, right? So all of a sudden, this cop's up, hey, you! <laughs> Wait. And he's like yelling at me. I said, I am not going to you until I land my drone. So finally I landed and went up to him and said, Lady over there said that you were in their backyards all over the place and you were peeking in their window with your drone and this and that. I said, Really? <laughs> I turned around and, I, and he said, Well, what are you doing here? And I said, I'm doing you know, real estate. Well, who's the owner? I said, I don't know who the owner is. I can give you the, you know, the guy that hired me, the realtor's name. And I told him, said, I know him, I'm going to call him up. I said, please do. <laughs> so he starts to walk away and he says, I want you to come back and I want you to tell me what happened. So he goes, I do my thing and I go to the front of the house, I land it, he comes up to me and says, you're all set. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> so I turned around and I said, I'd like to press charges against that woman for falsifying a report that I was peeking in her window, yada, yada, yada. Right. Well, you really want to do that? I said, no, but, anyway, I didn't do it. But you know what, if she came up to me, I was nice, I gave her the information, it still wasn't enough. Should she have been concerned, maybe curious, and ask that one question, and you know what I mean? First of all, why would I give her my license if I was doing something bad? Second, if I lied, the video would be evidence. So it doesn't make sense if somebody's, you know, I appreciate when somebody comes up to me and says, hey, you know, what are you doing? I quickly, you know, if I'm flying, I'll land it and I'll tell them, but that should be the end of it. But I did, when I was doing this video, um, this gentleman came out with a dog walking and he says to me, excuse me, uh, my wife, would like to know if we should be concerned about a drone flying in our neighborhood. <laughs> and I said, thank you for coming out, I appreciate it, but no, this is what I'm doing. I explained to them what I was doing, who I was, yada yada. And he said, you know what, I may you know, show up at that with my wife. Are you here, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, so that was it. I don't mind the questions, but don't be a Karen. You know, be nice about it. You know, I've got a job to do. This is my livelihood. I'm not going to spend time looking in your window or going in the back. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, my name's Cam. But no offense. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, suppose one of these Karens who was really concerned about the broom cleaner came out with a broom and swatted it down. I should be arrested for something better. That's right. No, that's, is there a penalty for oh, well, it's all taking battery, out a right? broom? Well, something better, right? Ex-cop. No, like, she hit me. You not that. you, the oh. drum. Oh, she, oh yeah, well, no, actually, believe it or not, yes, that's actually a federal offense. This is really? this is like shooting down a 747. Oh. Now, what if the FAA is going to do something about it? <laughs> Which, you know, there have been cases where people have shot these things really? out of the air, and they've been reported. Now, what they, again, we don't know what the FAA really does, but yes, <laughs> supposedly it is a federal offense. To, you know, shoot this down or bring it down with a broom or whatever. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes? What is the average price of all of those? Um, with the batteries, you're talking 2,500, 2,000, 1,800, 2,000, depending on how many batteries, how much accessories, and so forth. So, they're not toys. I can tell you that. You know, you hear these stories about, oh, I'm going to buy my kid a drone. And my, the hairs in the back of my neck really, really go up. The first, when people tell me they're going to buy a drone, the first thing I tell them is this, get educated first. Don't go buy a drone until you do your homework. You've got to go to the FAA website. You've got to read the rules and regulations. You've got to get informed before you buy. 
ask questions. You know, there's a lot of groups out there on Facebook that have a world of information for you. They will help you. They will even help you, you know, decide what drone is best for you, for what you are going to do. But that's the first thing anybody should do, whether you're a 10-year-old or a 90-year-old. And believe me, there are a lot of older folks flying these things and they get the 107 certificate. So, and they have fun with it. A lot of people, they have the certificate and they don't want to make money out of it, but they want the freedom that we have to fly it versus the you know, people that just want to do it for fun and whatever. So, again, they're not. I think you can start your presentation. <laughs> if there's any more questions. Well, yeah, once I get started, so I did this in the course of, you know, I don't know how many years or whatever. You're going to see some snow, you're going to see some fall, you know, winter and all that. Um, you know, looking at something from the sky down is quite different than driving. But I'd be curious to see if anybody would yell out as to where they think they are. And if you recognize something, just, you know, yell it out. You know, if you see a house, yell it out. Um, you know, and, and I encourage people to really, you know, have fun with this, okay? So I, I'm just going to be over there and I'll point some things out if I have to. But, you know, let's see if you guys remember, you know. I, well, I, I apologize that the door is half open, but the outside the handle is locked. So if we shut it completely, nobody else can come in. So <laughs> keep your coats on. <laughs> There's music to this, so let's see if I can find it. <coughs> Keep your coats on. <laughs> <laughs> There's music to this, so let's see if I can find it. Did you put the speaker on? Oh, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. That is awesome. I don't even know where that is. Wow. I've always wondered what was at the top of that. I know what it is, but what it looked like. And the weather pane is the same as at the uh, Park Street Church in Boston. It's a comet in the tail of the comet. It was windy, as you notice the drone is going back and forth a little bit. Beautiful sharpness. Unbelievable. If you see cuts like going from one to the other, the reason being is because I did, didn't see the drone, so I had to stop it and find it and then continue on. So I had to cut to what was in between. Now, how many people have walked this? I don't think too many. This is still. Now at uh, Ipswich River Park. So I mean, I don't think when, right now I don't even think you can walk there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So you can go places with this that you can't. Mm -hmm. I love Ipswich River Park in the winter time when it snows. Mm -hmm. Uh, a little bit, depending on what that. One of my favorite things to cover was this. <coughs> Anybody remember that? Oh, yeah. I think this is once in a lifetime deal. So it's a touring mall. Yep. Yeah. And safety was my concern. Now, we all know kitties. And as a matter of fact, I think oh, this, the kind of show. Yeah. this is one of my favorite accomplishments was starting uh, the uh, Light Up Main Street. Now this is not drone related, but I thought it was important to show just how vibrant Not Reading is in the community that really gets together and had a great time with these events. This is the parade. You 
they recognize some people here? And so you know, out in public, you have no expectation of privacy. You could be this six feet above the ground and not. No, have to this worry. is not drone related. Oh, okay. Okay, I just wanted to kind of start off with, you know, something to do with the town beside just fine. <laughs> Of course, you can't forget you know, the high school sports. <laughs> now, did you know that we have a girls' hockey team? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a park? Oh, of course, the Hillview. And we have tennis courts that no one ever really uses. <laughs> it's free to the public. Have you had middle school? Oh, this is I think this is a police night out. Out if you know how high smoke goes, well, you know, here it is. Oh, yeah. And I love this area because it, you've got a combination of all of older buildings, newer buildings, newer houses, you know, in the millions and hundred thousands, and they keep on building. Look at how beautiful the landscape is. And this is still off of uh, Marblehead Street. You see that red house over there? That's on the market right now for over two million dollars. That one on the right with the, um, the uh, mover there, that's actually the larger than that one. It's going to go for, I believe, three million dollars. Yeah. Street, yeah. What is this one? They have a name for this, I, what is it, Pond Lake or whatever the heck it is? Oh, yeah, that's part of the um, Carroll Park. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, nope, that's still on Marble Street. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's not Swan, 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 No, it's not. 
Now, is the film really going this fast, or are you speeding it up? Uh, this is the right speed right now. Uh, tell me about how I speed it up a little faster, because, I mean, we'd be here all night. I mean, <laughs> I had to cut this down to half an hour, and I still didn't get it. Yeah. Now, you know, not ready. Now, what school is that? Middleton? Is that going towards Middleton? Uh, no, going towards um, uh, uh, Sable Street. Uh, Sable Street. Uh, Now this is the area where that gentleman came out and asked me, you know, what, if, should we be worried about a drone? I love this street. You know what that is? Peter and Anthony. Anthony, yep. Yeah. And I love the way they ended up doing this. I mean, you've got houses between two streets. I mean, it's just amazing. And at the end of the street, what do you have? Scott Rudolph. But it's beautiful to me because we get the view. I mean, look at the Oh, yes. It's just... I often wonder if anybody goes canoeing here. Now, you've got background music going on. Your drones have... No, I added that. I added that. When I was putting it together. And again, you know, this, there's no name for this, but this lake should have a name. That's how big this is. Oh, that's Eisenhower. Uh, that's in the Eisenhower area, yes. Yeah, that's Eisenhower. Yeah, the high school, if you follow that street all the way down, yeah. it's the high school at the very end, yeah. Tower Hill. Oh, yeah. oh, so that was that's, Eisenhower. Come on. That's Belmont. One of the things that I find interesting is that people have really utilized their land and they made it to fit their, you know, needs. And it's, it's absolutely gorgeous, some of the, you know, these homes. I mean, look, imagine having a little lake in the backyard like that. Diane's house is right there. And if you notice, you know, leaves, because if there was leaves, you really couldn't see them, you know, much. And that's why I kind of stuck with the fall, mm -hmm. winter. Mm -hmm. The private oasis right there, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, this is Havel and coming up to uh, North Street right here. Mm -hmm. We're on North Street now. Yep. Where are we here? Oh, we're on North Street. High school's on the left. That's that old thing. Just the church. That was a recent one. Mr. Parker, you should know what's coming up right now. Yes. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. Now, yep. the answer to your question earlier, how high I can fly the drone, is coming up in a couple seconds. Oh, There's a house. I just saw Mark truck. So, I can fly, as long as I'm safe, I can fly as low as I want. Oh. And, and being by myself, you need to make sure you don't yeah. have traffic coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, good time. It's certainly smoother than walking in with a movie camera. Mm -hmm. It's just one of my favorite places, and I wish that you guys would have weddings in here, mm -hmm. birthday parties here. This would be a great venue for lots and lots of events. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yep, there's her house. There's house. Oh, and there's my car. <laughs> 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 
So as we all know, that's high school and the middle school. I mean, this thing is a city in itself. I always said they should have their own zip code. <laughs> and over here, right there is where the gym is. I think we did a good job on the high school and the middle school, don't you think? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, look, look at where the old school used to be. You've got the softball field. And, I mean, it's just amazing how, what, you know, happened to this area. It's unbelievably sharp. Yeah, the drones do, and by the way, it's not just one drone doing all this. All Except for the smaller one, all three had a, you know, play in all this. And you don't, don't need to focus or nothing? It's it it hard to focus, yep. Yeah. Wow. I can't take a picture of this clear. <laughs> yeah. You know where we are, right? Now this place here, fascinates me and I need to go back and really fly very very low but for this I couldn't do that I didn't have the time but it's gonna go back this area here it's just mm -hmm. it's just amazing you know what lives here you know I always wonder can we can you can, can what can we do with yeah, that? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. there used to be a um, cranberry box yeah, that's that, right that and you look all the way down to the right here. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Now, if you think about it, the North Branch really fits Now, these are condos, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. right. And it's amazing. Look at how neat and, and how, I don't know, just kind of weird that the way they built them, mm -hmm. put them, and look at, at the end of the road what it is. <laughs> So all these cuts meant that I needed to find my drone again so I could drive someplace else and kind of continue on. And Tom, in the middle there, that's that house that's now for sale with the land behind it. Strawberry Lane, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. So I believe we're in Marblehead uh, area. These are all relatively new constructions, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Bulgaria, I'm not going to 30 years ago. No, that's not. I remember when I came to this town, 30 years. The Turner Drive and all that. Yep. It's amazing how much progress we've had. Now, this is going to be a 360 from that location. And if you notice the high school at the far top there. And of course, that uh, Sugar Park. Now you're going to be facing rain. It's amazing how far you know you can see. Oh, what yeah. 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 Uh, 
Bobby, didn't you know what this is coming up? At that old uh, cemetery? Oh, yes. That's Chestnut Street going from left to left. Yes. Oh, that's right. about not putting, they don't lack in trees. Yeah. Yeah. Could you make still photos from some of these shots? I can, yeah. Like, like if that was my house and I wanted a picture of it? Yeah. And the quality is very, very good. Yeah. 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 Some of those early shots over at Switch River Park in the snow. Yeah. Uh, new construction is going to go up here. Mm -hmm. Where's that? At uh, the and you know where this is? Park Street, oh, over by Concord Street. And you're going to come up with, uh, on the right hand side, the O'Brien uh, Farm. Now this is that new development uh, right before you get to Concord Street on Park Street. Mm -hmm. It's just oh, yeah. the trees right away. Mm -hmm. Walmart at the end, the background there. Mm -hmm. They are a community of swimming pools, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, absolutely, a lot of them. What school is this? Little school. Yeah, it's here, it's awesome. <laughs> I remember I had some fond memories of going to softball games over that was there. My elementary school. Many, many years. That's my elementary school. <coughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I live right around the corner. I used to. Yeah. Now, this is on the other side, uh, the end of uh, Southwick yep. Street. And here's the uh, new apartments of uh, Lowell, far right. Now, I've always been curious. I see the uh, water department going over here all the time. Now, is this the part of the water resources for North Reading? There's a participation out there. Okay, yep. Yeah. It's the old railroad. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That goes right into the Wilkins. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The sand pits. Anybody getting dizzy yet? <laughs> now, if I did this in the summer, we wouldn't be able to see, you know, yeah. much. I have a hard time when I'm doing real estate in the summertime sometimes, especially if I'm doing bird's eye stuff. Mm -hmm. This is an eyesore. I'm sorry. All right, but I had to get it. It's a monster. I don't know what it's going to be. They say it's not Amazon, but what else could it be? It's a quarter mile long. Yeah, it's amazing. So I had to get it. Yeah, I'll see. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. So this is the other side. Yeah, the railroad. The old railroad truck. Yeah. He's on the right. Goes up. Crosses Main Street, goes along Fox Street, and then goes into those wetlands, going towards the middle. Now, I did some video before these buildings went up, and I was looking for it to have a before and after. So if I ever come back, I'll try to find it, and we'll have a before and after of this. I still photos. I just couldn't find it in time. Do you have a film that shows the old Benedetto property? Oh, that, you're, you're going to see that. Going over to the pond. Uh, I didn't go that way, but uh, I would like to see what happens. Yeah. Uh, I, um, I, I really needed to plan that because if I can't see it, I can't. Yeah. Okay. So you have condos and apartments okay. side by side. <laughs> I always wanted to shoot this, so I had to wait for a Saturday or a Sunday because you can't fly over people. So, I mean, I'm fascinated by this place. This is the Beneventos. And look at the material these guys have. Look at the trucks, the equipment. It's amazing 
what they can do here. It's just I would love to be there for like a week just to find out how they do things. <coughs> I don't know what this blue cyan stuff is. Water? It's an orange stuff. It's an orange stuff. Yeah. 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 I just find it fascinating. Look at those gut movers. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd like to see you from there. Yeah. But if I lose track of it. Mm -hmm. Now, do you recognize that one? That was your home bag. I don't know what I'm using. Hmm. Yeah. 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 That, that uh, trailer park's been there for years. Yeah. It's amazing how it's well oh, kept yes, up. Oh, yes, that's right. Oh, now, oh, there, and there's a um, um, extra space to obviously walk I remember this. Now, if you notice Main Street, I mean, it, it's changed quite a bit. You've got walk lanes, you've got, I mean, it's, it's, it's through the years, it's changed, but you still have the old section topper. <laughs> yeah. A lot of if if you how far away can you be from I mean if you go in twenty friend. minutes, you're not walking along, you're standing still and he's going twenty minutes. As long as I can see I can do my thing. Okay. If okay. I can't see it and I want to continue, uh, I either gotta bring it back to me, hover it, and then have somebody drive me because I'm always with somebody. Okay. Yeah. You know what that is? Yep. Yeah. Working right over right longer now. Okay. Yeah. Now we're coming up to St. Teresa's. Oh, there's a Oh, Yeah, they did a great job with that trailer park, too. It's amazing. All brand new houses. Now, this is St. Teresa's. Now, those, that, those houses in the back, that land also belonged from correct. If I remember correctly, this land used to be St. Teresa's and they sold it. This is what they built here. And Nichols Street, I believe, is... Uh, it is Nichols Street. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And these have been around for years. I think, what, 20, 30 years now? Concord Street. Mm -hmm. I thought they were going to put apartments there for some reason, but now it's a warehouse. Now we're going down Concord Street. Right. What amazes me is, it's, it, you know, you've got this type of building here, and all of a sudden you go into more industrial with FedEx having more trucks than God. I mean, and it's summertime. It's, yeah. I mean, look, you got trucks on the left, you got trucks on the right. I mean, a lot of industrial in this town on oh, Concord yeah. Street. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a big thing. We're in the area. And you've got the church that used to be Congress, now it's a church. Now, anybody recognize this place? Somebody mentioned the name of it earlier. Yep. Yeah. When they first, before they even developed it, I was hired to do some video of this area for a real estate agent. So I was one of the first ones to photograph it before any buildings went on there. And we know what this place is. Mine is mine. So these guys were taken by surprise. <laughs> and the one in the back was doing something that I had to cut up. <laughs> so he would be like, what the hell? And I kept on following him out, so I kept up what he was doing. <laughs> I love this. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's like we're living in another place, you know?
those roads. And that's a daytime view. I love the nighttime view. You still can't quit a state job. <laughs> He likes golf. This is just about dusk. Probably a little earlier than I wanted to, but I want to capture it. The Big Dipper ice cream. Love what they do with the building. I never figured out why they wanted that building faced the other way. <laughs> Murphy's place on the left. Oh, and there's the uh, the uh, Chinese old Chinese restaurant. Yeah. yeah. But there's a menu in that place. You got the Yazuma uh, Cemetery on the left. Yes. This is called Walnut Corner. Yep. It's a red light party. It's a place. Where were you when you were shooting the I was right at the gas station. Yes. You remember this place? Oh, yes, East Cake. Let's have a drink. Yeah. <laughs> East Cake. Before they uh, made the change then. Uh, East Cake Lucas. Now it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they just moved. And here's our downtown oh. in the summer time. That's such a beautiful corner. I think it's a beautiful place to live in. I mean, you guys are blessed. Oh, hot. Cheers. Hours of video, and uh, it's just impossible. I mean, you'd be here, probably fall asleep. Uh, but if you guys want me to come back someday, you know, next year, whatever, you know, let me know, and we'll do something different. You know, but with drones, maybe you know, have some more fun with it. Um, any questions, you know, with anything I did and concerns? Um, what is, is, is it a good deal of your work really uh, real estate or do you do advertising or do you do... Uh, I, whatever I did at my store, I'm actually still doing it, right. but it's, you know, a little lower scale. I'm still, you know, the, the uh, real estate right now, as everybody knows, is kind of, you know, hit rock bottom. Where I used to do 10 a week, I'm down to two or three a week if I'm lucky. But it's also winter time and people really don't want to put their house out for sale. And also the interest rates are really kind of high at 8%, 7%. And you know, when you buy a, a million dollar house, or uh, $800,000 house, you know, you're talking heavy mortgage. But we're seeing things starting to pick up slowly. But I'm also seeing a lot of new construction. I mean, lately I've been doing two, three million dollar houses. And it's happening more and more. They take a little longer to sell, but they are selling. The lower end, they seem to be a little slower on you know, selling. I mean, we're talking like five, six hundred, seven hundred thousand. But those need a lot of renovation, like new kitchens, you know, a lot of work. So, what we didn't see before, now seeing in the market. But yeah, uh, drones, videos, I do constructions, like that job I had in Portsmouth today was for a company in the Midwest that hired me to do a video and photos of uh, like a strip mall. Oh. So I do a lot of that kind of stuff also. Uh, I still, I have my photo booth business, so I still do that quite a bit. And, you know, season is coming up where I'm doing probably like seven or eight proms. I'm doing first time, you know, Redding's uh, senior prom this year, and I've got a call to do the junior, so hopefully I'll get that also. Yeah. Any, anybody else? Questions, concerns? I'm just going to say the, the, uh, the, the quality of the, of the, of the lenses, uh, the, uh, the ability to pick up detail is just amazing. And now, if, 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 for example, if 
um, if you if you wanted to look, if you had a very tall building and you wanted to look at the condition of the roof or some part of the building, um, as opposed to hiring, uh, getting setting up staging or getting one of those uh, giant cherry pickers. Is I've been hired to do, you do, do inspection? uh Green gutter building? inspections. Okay. Oh. I've been hired uh, to do roof inspections with, uh, you know, people have been concerned, uh, you know, but they don't want to get, especially elderly people, they don't want to get on the ladder. Um, remember a few years ago, we had the massive amount of snow that, you know, the roofs were collapsing. Yeah. So yeah. I got hired a number of times oh. to, you know, have people, you know, look at their roofs and there was a, there was a, a school, I won't say what type of a school, but there was a school and one of the parents was very concerned because they had a flat roof and they were concerned that, you know, they weren't taking care of the roof. So they actually hired me to do a flyover, which is legal, okay? Yeah. It is legal because don't forget, you know, above your roof, you don't own the airspace. <laughs> Okay. So I can fly, you know, as long as I'm not peering into your, you know what I mean? Oh, just hovering. <laughs> but yeah, so I flew over and it was fine. They did a great job on removing the, uh, you know, the ice and the snow and all that. So it, it's fascinating. These are just the smaller ones. There are drones that people have that they spray crops. And these are bigger, okay? Uh, they have drones bigger than this that have, do infrared. So if you wanted to see if you're losing heat, you know, you'd hire somebody with that if you want, or a gun or whatever. So, you know, there's a lot of applications for different types of drones. So this is very little, you know, compared to what's out there. Can you edit the, what you're seeing, like you can on a smartphone, you can edit a photo, but can you change the lighting? Or uh, on the video, yes, yeah, if it's dark, I can light it up. If it's kind of one color, you want to add a little color to it, yeah. So, every, I do everything. So, this these, this video here, there was a lot of editing, uh, lightning dark. Because, you know, you have shade, you know, you got the clouds, and you know, so you want to kind of try to make things a little even. Mm -hmm. So, you spend a lot of time, you know, editing stuff, you know. Uh, when I do a virtual tour of a house with you, but that's a whole different thing. I, you know, you edit also. Now, I got this for a reason, and I actually used this in one of the houses that was on you know, the video. I flew this inside. <laughs> and again, legally, you have to see where the drone is at all times, but not inside of a house. The FAA has no jurisdiction inside of a building. If I wanted to fly all these drones in here, fine. They don't have anything to say. Once I'm outside, it just their attention. But inside. So, you know, using goggles, so you have this on, and you you have this. You know, you don't see the drone, you just see what the drone sees. Oh and you know, you never used it once before. I actually did a pretty decent job with this thing. I only crashed a dozen times. <laughs> but you know, but that only reason I did is because I lost GPS. And I'm still working on that. Mm -hmm. But it was only a $2 million dollar house, so yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna miss a little too much here and there. But yeah, I'm having fun with this. Um, it, it, I like, like to educate everybody. Don't be concerned if you have a question, you see somebody flying, you know, gradually go up to them, try not the bottom when the, you know, the bird is up in the air. I don't, you know, if you see them early enough, find it. When they're done, fine. But don't call the cops. <laughs> you know, not unless you see them physically doing something that, you know, it's wrong. Uh, there's a lot of film production in Massachusetts, uh, you know, commercial movies, you know, Hollywood movies and uh, commercials and stuff like that. Do you ever get approached for, for any? No. Oh, no, no, no. I don't put my stuff out up there for that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes a lot of commitment. I'm old, you know, and I'm trying to slow down oh, yeah, a little bit, care. you know. Mm -hmm. I'll click with my real estate and my, you know, my, uh, my fun stuff, and I do a lot of construction progress and all that. Sure. Um, and there's a lot of commitment to that. Have you seen the movie Ambulance? If you haven't, you've got to see it. There's a lot of drone action. I mean, they've used drone throughout the whole movie, and it is fascinating to see the angles. I mean, there was one car that flew, and the drone's going underneath it, uh, you know, 
it's, it's amazing. Ambulance, you gotta check it out. If you notice, a lot of these movies that are coming out now, you know, when you see them, that's all drones now. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing how many are being used and how many movies. I mean, it's amazing. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a phone call away. A phone call away. And I pick up and drop off at your home, so don't take the call. You, know, you don't have to leave your home. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I appreciate you guys.